Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Barbara, what I'm going to do is it's going to be recording on the computer so I can actually post it up uh, this evening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn over the host to you. Make sure that you turn off the recording and, and end the meeting. Since you're going to be the host, end the meeting, and then it'll, uh, it'll convert it and save it onto my computer. Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the host over to you. And then I will end up muting myself out. So welcome, so, welcome everyone. Um, <laughs> let me mute all first. And then unmute yourself immediately. And then, all right, now I'm going to make you the host. So welcome, everyone. Uh, guys, we're going to be getting started in about two minutes. You're going to want to send out. Um, any last minute text to uh, people in the team because you do not want to miss uh, the training that you have today. So guys, just so you know that every week we have a different leader, someone that's actually doing what it is that we're talking about, someone that knows how to build, knows how to start people, and knows how to really help you set yourself up to win. And today you guys have the incredible um, Barbara Cotto, did I pronounce that correctly? Yes. <laughs> so uh, she has uh, not only won in the industry, um, has won in companies prior to coming here, but is winning in a big, big way, um, was instrumental in launching a country, um, even when they, uh, you know it wasn't necessarily legal getting things started. She's gone out there and just totally rocked it out and built a team before we were actually open um, in Puerto Rico, started making things happen. So you guys are in for a treat, and I'm going to mute myself and turn it over to Barbara, who will probably be getting started in like one minute. So over to you, Barbara. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Let's wait for that minute. Call everyone, because uh, this is going to be nice. I'm excited to be here. A little bit nervous, because Spanish is my main language so beg your pardon if i start translating and make a mess but i i did something different i uh, made a powerpoint it's not the way we usually train here but it helps me not to get confused with my language okay let's see i think we're ready Thank you, Haiti. Here we are. So officially, welcome to this Getting Started training. Again, my name is Barbara Cotto, I'm Diamond. Uh, I live in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico and I wanna share with you uh, the way I train my team and it has been uh, very, very good in results. So I believe, I strongly believe on, on keeping it simple and having a strong mindset before anything starts to happen. If you know the ground rules, you will, you will go along uh, in a good way so welcome again and applied mindset is the foundation for me so these are my mindsets and the one that i teach to my team and number one is i live my purpose and i'm intentional uh you're here because of a reason you're here because you wanted to help people doesn't matter why doesn't matter what brought you here specifically it has a purpose and you are a purpose so be intentional that when you share this opportunity or this product, you will be connecting with your purpose and activating or waking up other people's pur purpose too. So connect with your purpose, live for it and link it, link it to the opportunity and let Elevacity be the vehicle and Elevate will be the tool. So every purpose is about service and we are constantly serving people. 
It maybe is by changing their health, maybe it's changing their wealth, but there's many ways, there are many ways to, to help people out through this experience. It, once you're connected there, there is a fuel in your, in your soul that you can not stop talking about it. So I think that's the, the main foundation. Number two, uh, tell yourself, I am effective rather than efficient. Actions beat knowledge. Most of the people uh, think, and it's, it's natural since the way we're raised, that we need to know everything before we start. But in this case, in this type of business, action beats knowledge. Forget about knowing start uh, uh, sharing your experience because your testimonial what you've lived is bigger than any uh, uh, books courses anything that you can that you can learn before sharing others what happened to you number three i love kiss keep it simple smile and i love the new slogan with the, about smiles in every cup because that's what we do. So uh, data changes, but no one can argue about what you know by experience, like I was saying before. Uh, science changes constantly. Uh, one, one day a diet works, the other one is bad for your health, and those are based on scientific data. But when you feel something, when you know that you know that you know that something works, no one can take that from you so keep it simple keep it with your experience and what you are seeing from others uh, their change their transformation along with yours number four i am a connector i'm a, and a storyteller and that's the best uh job description that we have we're always connecting and we're always sharing stories so tools explained and we have great tools i'm excited I'm, I'm in love with the new uh website so we can use it well but stories excites it, there's emotion there's soul included in every story number five i am talented i have what i need and i am what is needed you're here because you were needed you found the calling so if you're good at the phone use it you don't have to become an influencer. If you're not technological, you don't have to become a guru or go to college to, to rock at this. If you are already good at social media, then use it. If you're great on one-on-one, -on -one, go call your people, bring them home, uh, take them to a coffee shop or something, but just do whatever you're good at and explore your talents and your gifts if uh awesome filling out rooms go for it there's people that are very skilled and talented bringing people to a room and filling it out just do what you know goes along with you now uh what should we do when we start the business number one for me is remember and write and i i don't take uh the, the all the glory about this training i took it from the best and first uh, training that chris schrader and francisco sent to me because it's the clue it's a clue so here we go remember and write think and make a list of all your friends family and co-workers that can benefit from all our happy products do not judge anyone don't think and do not decide uh, from others sometimes the person that we less expect will um, amaze us saying yes i need it thank you for thinking about me and the person that you think that will rock uh, doesn't care and is not interested so do not assume even if you have their contact on your phone or facebook app write down the list i like the old style and if you're technological do the excel but try to have the list so you can track your contacts and your business activity write down when did you speak what did he or she told everything and 
And we suggest to start to share your experience with 10 to 20 people weekly. If you want more results, go ahead and increase that number. That's it. Number two, make some calls and have fun. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Because if we're serving, if we're a happy company, we have a happy philosophy and we are a family over a team, there's no way to be struggling with stress or anything else. So have fun and be happy to share. Nothing happens if people say no. Just go with, with the next person, but have fun anyway. Connect. Show you care when you call people or you speak to people. Doesn't matter if you know them or, or not. Show you care. Ask them about their, themselves, the family, career, relations. What do they like? Why, what are their passions? Uh, everybody give you their ears once they know you care. People don't know people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care so that's the first uh way to connect they will ask you eventually during the conversation about you too and that's the moment that you show that you drink happy coffee ask them do you drink coffee or if they if they say yes ask them have you heard about the happy coffee every everybody's talking if they say no, ask them if they like chocolate. If they don't drink coffee or chocolate, I don't know what they're doing with their life. I'm sorry, that I'm joking. <laughs> uh, if they don't like uh, either or, tell them about all the people that before trying our coffee or our chocolate didn't like it either. Or if they insist they're not open, that's okay. Just ask them, do you know someone that would love to have a great coffee and feel great. And that's a very, very, very good moment because people don't like to say no uh, and repeat a no. So you take that advantage and when you ask for referrals, as we can call them, they will eventually give you some. Number two in this first step, in this second step, I'm sorry. Share your happiness experience and other stories that can relate to your friends. Here we go with the experience and with the stories. Nothing comes more exciting and more excited than your own story and the stories from people that you care, that uh, had an impact in, in you. For example, uh, my mom was very, very skeptical and she gave me the opportunity she was suffering with a great imbalance, unbalance on her insulin levels. And I cannot stop sharing what happened to her. She's out of uh, a lot of medication since then. So when I share my experience, I also share other, other stories that relate to me and that I'm inspired of them. So people can feel it and can get credibility uh, upon it. Expose your friends to more information. Uh, information comes in different ways. I love the way we deal with it. You can send them a video or you can invite them to uh, one of our team prospecting information groups that are awesome because they are full of testimonials and information. Or if you have your Facebook profile uh, shaped up with information, testimonials, your own Facebook profile can become a tool. So be strategic on that and keep it simple. I'm not telling you to uh, start doing this with your Facebook profile. If you already have a group that's excellent, excellent and it's better. If you belong to your uplines team prospecting information group, that's awesome. Keep it simple. Don't uh, overload yourself with... Uh, steps that can be uh, overwhelming and will take time for you to be productive. Ask when will be the best time to check out the info and when you will talk again. That must be the same day. Um, something that happens is that our sweet, our honey, the honey that attracts the, the birds here is the weight loss, even though we do much more than that. And that process, most of the time, is an emotional decision. If you take too long to follow up, 
uh, so they can start watching the information and the testimonials, you might risk a little bit your, your new customer or entrepreneur. So I recommend in the next 24 hours, uh, that person must be watching everything and facilitate the search. Text, their, them, link, text them the, the link or the video, make it easy, okay? Number three, follow up. When you follow up, you must be punctual. It's part of a customer service, a quality customer service experience. Ask people when you call them, what do you like the most of what you saw? Are you ready to change your cup? Assume the person is saying a yes. If you ask them, uh, what do you think? Uh, did you like it? <laughs> you are putting yourself into doubt. So be certain that they will like it. Why not? How in the world will they say that they didn't like it? So go there. Let me tell you, this is a safe investment. You have a 30-day guarantee. And any objection in price will be handled with that comment. Uh, that uh, calms everybody. Explain more in detail about the 30-day guarantee because that's important, but don't forget to mention it. Ask them, do you have any question? And if they have questions, that's the unique and special opportunity. You have to introduce someone from your support team, your uplines. Uh, they will share stories. They will help you close the person. And some, some, uh, most of the time, they will give information that maybe uh, not to take long time talking will be missed by you. So that will be great. Mention also other products that can be benefit in addition to the happy coffee and a pill. For example, we have the Keto Cray, which I love the flavor and have helped me uh, burning some uh, body fat. So if the person is looking to aggressively lose weight, then go for it and help them with additional products, the energy patches, the sleep patches. And uh, most of us need to increase sharing our beauty products, our skincare products that are organic and we have a, a great, great quality products there. Use Zooms, good news, and events to have a reason for follow-up. Doesn't matter if the person buys or not, you follow up on them with good news, uh, sending invites to uh, Facebook Lives and anything that could interest them. And sometimes we don't know what, what would interest the person. So again, we don't assume, oh, I'm not gonna send this to this person because I don't think it's gonna be valuable for them. You never know. So do not assume and send them everything. Number four, help them with the first order. So I, my team, since we speak Spanish and now we have the, the website in Spanish, we used to do the order for them and we have special situations with our addresses, <laughs> but um, we still, uh, even though that has been fixed, uh, we still do the, the order, the first order for them, or we are on the phone guiding them step-by-step step on how to do it. Uh, it's simple now with the great uh, website that we have, it's beautiful to have them watching all the, the information that the website has. And remember always to give them their best, very, very, very best first quality customer experience. Customer service starts with you. Not with support, not with the 1-800, not with your offline, with you. Uh, remember that every customer is a potential entrepreneur. So they are watching unconsciously what you're doing and in case they become entrepreneurs, they will remember what you did with them and for them. Number five, invite. No matter if they purchase or not, invite and ask for people to help, okay? You can invite them to guest Zooms, opportunity Zooms, events, Facebook Lives, anything that is going on, it's an opportunity, it's an excuse for us. If they haven't decided to start their 30-day happiness transformation yet, then invite them to have a two-day preview. 
and you can use uh, very uh, clever the the samples. If you you drink if you drink happy coffee, the most important thing is that you show it through that process. And also, um, we love social media, and everybody's attracted to social media, even even when they don't like uh, technology or they are rusty or they're not familiar, is very, very, very attractive because we know that there's a second world called social media and we can reach a lot of people. But that has a strategy also. And number one is that attraction marketing rocks. I love it. And this has been my strategy since day one. Uh, it has been very tempting to do otherwise, but the results speak by themselves. Our product causes so much impact that testimonials provokes curiosity without shouting the company, the brand, or even the link. So we're like flirting with our product because we became very attractive uh, through testimonials and what's going on and the lifestyle that is causing to feel great and happy that people cannot control themselves on writing you. But if you spill everything out, uh, the company and all the benefits and the brand and your link, people won't contact you. All, uh, uh, something else that happens is that if they have all the information, they may do their own search and sometimes they don't find the right information or, you know, everybody, every company, every product, every leader have haters. So you don't know what they can get. And if you give everything, you will never know if they are looking after your company, after your coffee, after your product. So it's better to provoke that curiosity, become attractive and make people feel so anxious about your happiness that they start calling or, or texting or messaging. We love to call them smart coffee, happy coffee, happy pill, happy ham, healthy coffee, blessed coffee, you name it. And you can make a hashtag out of it. But that's the way we treat the coffee, not to share the brand or the company or the link. We share about what makes us different and special, which is happiness. Everything is about you. Everything, because people, people buy uh, to people they like and trust. So through sharing in social media, what are you up to? Uh, what are your, your passions? What do you like to do? What's your priority? For example, for me, it's family, traveling, and my business, helping, supporting, and coaching others. People that like that kind of stuff will follow me and will be curious again about what I'm taking and, I'm, uh, and about what I'm sharing. Our experience in others is on another thing that we share about and we motivate people uh, to have the natural logical conclusion that they deserve to try the product and uh, at some degree the customers will get to the conclusion that they deserve to try to do a business and help other people. The most important thing about social media is to be you. Your vibe attracts your tribe. People uh, like genuine people. People like imperfection because that's the real deal. That's why we get identified with each other. People like success stories and to be successful, you get to have a crash at some point. So don't be ashamed about your story since you're looking and finding a solution to it. And maybe there's a lot of people that is looking for the same thing that you found. So share about who you are, what you love and enjoy. How does your happy coffee effect translate into a better quality lifestyle? You don't have to uh, constantly be saying that it gives you energy, but show that energy. Like uh, Chris goes to his boat or you go traveling or you go bungee jumping or you go to the trampoline park with your kids that you couldn't do that before, etc. 
always keep your relationship growing with new people because this is relationship marketing also. It's not only attraction marketing. So you want to be adding people constantly to your Facebook, to your Facebook profile, and to your um, information groups. Your mission is to meet your friends' friends in and out of Facebook. So don't stick only to Facebook, to Instagram. Go, go to that party, go to that birthday party, go to that celebration, go to that meeting, go to the church uh, reunion. Do some uh, physical, presential uh, interaction and become a storyteller. Once again, we are storytellers and your testimonials will become better and better and better once you repeat it uh, every time. So do it online or, or offline, it doesn't matter, but uh, commit yourself to give your story, share your story and other people's stories constantly. You will see your own improvement and your own development. So I think this is it. I'm happy to share this uh, thoughts with you. Haven't seen comments. See what we have here. Uh, can you please explain more about the 30 day guarantee? Yes, if you use a product uh, for 30 days, 30 days start counting once you do the order and you don't feel any of the effects that we uh, share any. It uh, doesn't say that if you feel all the, the, the effects, if you don't feel any of the effects that the product is uh, offering, uh, they call support and support will give a charge back, a refund. Um, let's see what else we have here. How do you do the order? I go to my own elevate.com slash username and they do it. I explained them beforehand that uh, sometimes the address is tricky. Is tricky not only for shipping purposes, but also to process the credit card. And I'm not uh, keeping the information and I tell them, I explain them that the authorization codes is, is uh, part of the process to protect their information from fraud and identity theft. So when I tell them that, uh, they don't have any problem on giving me the information. They're on the phone while I make the order, they receive the email uh, by the time I finish it. Uh, what else? Yeah, let's see. Or is there a way? Oh, this is moving, I'm sorry to see what a customer would see for the first order so we would know and be able to walk them through. The way uh, you can do it is uh, to guide them, give them the, the, the link and be on the phone with them and go step by step with them until they do their own purchase. That's it, if there's no any other question, I am thankful to be here with you. I hope this helps you. And see you next time. Barbara, you Barbara, were you fabulous. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank so you for much. that. Hope it helps. You crush it. Crush it. Thank you. Barbara rocks. Barbara rocks. Barbara rocks. Good job, Barbara. Have a great Thank weekend, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Barbara. Thanks, Barbara. Thank you. Enjoy it. Make it money. Thanks, Barbara. Thank great you. Job. Bye. So I don't find the the recording button to stop. Thank you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Thank you. Have a good day. You too.